In today's video, I explain how fast you can lose body fat, and I give you some science. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Parvella from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, we're going to talk about how quickly you can lose body fat without the risk of losing lean body mass. Now, before we get started, this is from my own curiosity because I started hearing the idea of fat loss as a goal years ago, but I've never actually clarified where we get these numbers from. I've always heard it's about 1% of your current body weight, but then if you're obese, it changes, and if you're lean, it changes. So where does the truth lie? Well, I started doing some digging and I found a cool formula and I wanna share it with you guys. So for anyone who's coming into this video and they're on a diet that claims they're gonna lose 25 pounds in 25 days, or 30 pounds in 30 days, or 100 pounds in 100 days, whatever it is, a rapid fat loss protocol, I wanna explain how those work, and we're gonna first describe the difference between fat loss and weight loss, okay? Fat loss is the actual loss of the fat cell, okay? The fat cell going to zero. Now, that is very different than weight loss, okay? Weight loss can be anything from lean body mass to water to hydration to, there's other things that go into weight loss that are not necessarily related to fat loss, but clearly we know the difference. But sometimes when we hear the term weight loss, we get all excited and we think, oh, I'm gonna lose all this fat. You're probably gonna lose some fat, but it might not just be pure body fat. But I'm gonna talk about this from a fat loss perspective. And why? Because when we lose body fat, we actually change our body composition for the better without losing muscle mass. And in fact, you can probably gain some muscle mass while you're losing body fat, depending on the experience that you're at. <clears throat> but I found this really cool formula and I thought I'd share it with you. So let's talk about where this comes from. The idea is, when we're trying to lose body weight or body fat to get into a certain condition, I deal with physique competitors, people looking to do photo shoots, heck, some people just wanting to get married, and they want a timeline. I, as a coach, have to create that timeline and say, okay, this is our goal, we need to get here by this time. And so, as I've been doing this for a while now, I have a really good sense for how long it's gonna take me to get someone into truly conditioned shape that they're, that they're after. However, for not everyone that has a coach, and you know, I realize not everyone even needs a coach, but sometimes it's helpful if we set a realistic guideline and set up a realistic timeline because setting these expectations of, oh gosh, losing 25 pounds in a month, well, that can be very difficult to deal with. And sometimes you might only lose 15, which is a huge success, but you might not feel like it was success because you didn't reach those goals. So I wanna talk about setting some expectations. So I'm gonna put some information on the screen here and then I'm gonna talk about exactly the calculation that we can use for you. If you have a good estimate of what your current body fat is, then we can give you a realistic expectation for how much body fat and the rate at which you're gonna lose that body fat. <clears throat> so the digging I did was on a PubMed article which actually calculated the rate of fat loss and the calculation wasn't that easy to read until I found an article and I'll link both below and the article explained things in much more detail. So what I'm gonna explain here is two different scenarios. A male that's 180 pounds and a male that's 280 pounds and you'll see the drastic difference based on this calculation for how fast we can lose body fat. So if we have a 180 pound male who is 10% body fat, which means he has 18 pounds of body fat, the calculation goes like this. 31 kilocalories times 18, which is the amount of body fat he has, means he can lose 558 calorie deficit per day. So that 31 kilocalories per pound of body fat is really where we're getting this from. We're multiplying those together. So you can take what you have as far as body fat, percentage, you figure out how much body fat you have and multiply that by 31 kilocalories, You'll come up with a number of the deficit. So basically, you're getting at, at this guy's getting 558 kilocalories a day deficit over a week. That works out to just over 3,500 calories, and you guessed it. That's just over a pound of body fat. So if you're 10% body fat, it looks like you're going to lose about a pound of body fat per week without risking loss in fat-free mass. Okay, and that's the goal. We want to keep all our muscle. 
But what happens if you're 280 pounds and you're 37% body fat? That's 103 pounds of body fat. So we keep that same multiplier, 31 kilocalories, and then we multiply it by 103. This gentleman is gonna be able to lose about six and a half pounds of body fat per week. Why? Because he's got a lot more body fat to lose. And so when it comes to deciding how long it's going to get, get you to get into the condition you're at, you can use these calculations and kind of estimate what it's gonna take and how long it should happen. Now, for those of us that are 10% body fat wanting to get to 7%, losing a pound a week can be grueling because there's so many things that go into the loss of body fat. Sometimes the scale might not show it if you have some inflammation, some digestion, if you change your sodium. This is why bodybuilders get so consistent with their diet and fluid intake. We're trying to remove all the variables so we can actually see what's going on. Flexible dieting is great for many reasons, but we as bodybuilders start to get very regimented with our diet because when you change variables like sodium, like hydration, like digestion, it can throw off what we're looking at on a daily basis. Yes, you can see some changes visually or some measurements or some skin folds, but when you see the scale up and down every single day, it can really throw things off mentally and that can be really become a challenge. So I think for you, if you're looking for how fast can you lose body fat, you got to be realistic, okay? If you're already lean, it's going to be slower. If you're very overweight, it can be a lot quicker. But whatever it is, it's pretty simple. Figure out how much body fat you have to lose. So take your body weight, if it's 200 pounds, take your body fat percentage, if it's 10%, that's 20 pounds of body fat. Multiply that by 31 kilocalories a day, and that's going to give you your daily average figure out what that is for the week, and that's gonna give you how much fat loss you're gonna be for the week based on 3,500 calories of calorie deficit for the week being a pound of body fat. And it's actually pretty accurate. When I look at how long I calculate things for my athletes, for myself, this is why we take our time in prep. We don't rush things. We wanna make a lifestyle change. We wanna make a switch. And when you give yourself more time, you can do things like bringing calories back up to maintenance for a week or two weeks. We now know that is called a diet break. We can be ready ahead of time for a competition so we can actually bring calories up and bring the person in looking fuller and harder. And we are changing our lifestyle. This is not a 25 days to success. This is a lifetime of change for always being what we wanna be. All right, guys, hopefully that answers your question of how fast we can lose body fat. I found this very interesting. If you did, let me know below. If this is something you'd like me to do more often, I really enjoy these kind of videos because it's actually kind of gets into my own curiosities and what's going on. Also, for anyone that's still watching, you are an OG and I appreciate it. I would like you to click the link below if you want to come see me speak in October in Missouri. I am for the first time presenting at the Physique Summit along with some amazing people like John Gorman, Cliff Wilson, Jason Theobald, Lauren Conlon, and many others. Okay, this is an event that they do every year. It gets uh, rave reviews, it sells out. I've never actually even been. This will be my first year going and it's such an honor to be asked to go that if you are interested, I would love to see you there. All right guys, I'll talk to you tomorrow.